Hello and welcome back to Project Cars. Uh, today I'm going to be changing the controls, uh, control settings according to some advice I've found online. So we want to put the dead zones to zero because we don't want any dead zone. Sensitivity needs to go up a bit. This is according to advice I've been researching on the internet to see what people think the best settings are. All these dead zones need to be off. Throttle sensitivity is a bit high, probably, according to what people say, but I quite like it a little bit higher, so I might leave that. Um, dead zones off. Brake sensitivity is way too high, which I found actually it kept locking up. So if we put that the same as throttle sensitivity, Clutch dead zone zero. I'm not using the clutch anyway, so it probably doesn't really matter. Leave that alone. Speed sensitivity is about right, apparently. Damper saturation wants to be a bit less. 80 maybe. Control the damping about 70. Control the vibration. We want it higher to give a bit more realism to the driving experience. And then those we leave alone. That looks pretty good. I've also put my code in for my season pass, so that's now that's now downloaded on here. I tried to put the code in for the Japanese cars pack as well but that wasn't working it said you may need to use a different web page or something look at your instructions but I put the code in right the pack appears to be available in the Xbox store on here so if anybody else has played and had the same problem or if anybody else has figured out how to get around the problem let me know anyway now we've changed those settings let's try I found GT4 a bit slow, let's try some GT3 at Monza, that'll be the next step up, won't it? Maybe some GT1. Maybe not yet, I don't really feel like I can handle GT1 yet. Let's go GT3. Oh, picking a car. Actually, I wonder what liveries we've got on some of these. Some quite nice ones in there. Lots of orange options for the McLaren, as it should be, I guess. Ooh, the Falcon liveries always look so good. Why are there no Golf liveries? Project cars, you need Golf liveries. That's almost Golf. It's blue and orange, but. The golf not let you use liveries or something? Oh wow, Hot Wheels. Oh wow, there's loads of liveries for this. Cadillac make GT3 cars. Bentleys are all DLC on the previous game. Oh, they're all exactly the same livery basically. Basically, surprise project cars didn't make some of their own liveries for it, as there weren't many available real ones. Oh, that one has some more variation. Ooh, I like that, I like that. We don't really want an endurance one for a GT3 race, though. That's new to this game. It wasn't on the previous one. Um, don't. No, the GTR was, I think. That definitely wasn't, that's new. That's the newer version of the R8, that wasn't on there. That wasn't either. But I think, if we go with the NSX, that's probably the most exciting new GT3 car. That's quite a nice livery. Uh, what else? Oh wow. Oh, 
That's nice, that's almost like the old castrol colours. Let's go with that, that's cool. Alright, Monza. Ten minute qualifying. Can we put that down a bit? Practice off. No, practice on. Qualifying on. Five minutes. I'll be a bit quicker. Leave the weather alone for now. Three laps standing start. Alright, let's go into it. Hopefully the new controller setup will make a difference. But yeah, it's a shame about the Japanese car pack that it won't let me download it. I will try that again soon, in the next few days, to see if it works. But yeah, if anybody knows why that's not working, do let me know. Anyway, hopefully this will be a more successful race than the GT4 one a few videos back. Or than the Janetta one, when I started career mode in the last video. Vehicle records 138.935. Don't think we're going to beat that. We'll give it a go. Maybe with this new controller setup it will be... A lot better to drive. Oh wow, this car looks good. Oh, he said go, didn't he? Oh! We cut in front of him a bit. Let's move back to our interior view. Little oh, helmet cam, indeed. No, helmet cam's more realistic, but it's a bit difficult for now. Oh, we missed the gate. Wow! Warning for unsafe crossing of pit exit lines. Yeah, because a McLaren pushed me over them. What's he in such a hurry for? It's his outlap. It's not like he's going to get a time in. It's ridiculous driving. Brakes still locking up a bit. Might need to turn that sensitivity down even more. What happened there? Traction control wasn't on, we've just put it on. Off, on, on. Right, yeah, this is an outlap, so it doesn't matter that I spun and fiddled about with traction control. It is on, isn't it? Off. On. Yeah, these brakes are still a bit... A bit... Brutal. Need to turn the sensitivity down a bit. Down the back straight towards the parabolica. Missed the breaking point again there. That piece of tarmac that's normally there, and that's there on a set of course in games like that, isn't there on project cars. I noticed that in the first game as well, but I always use the tarmac as my marker, so I don't actually know which metre sign to go by. He braked at the 150, so we'll go with that. Oh, he was quick out of that corner. I thought I'd have him there. Look how slowly he went into that corner. Not that we're aiming to overtake anyone. This is just a qualifying session. We're going for time, stop position. Oh, 
Oh, on two wheels out of there and on the grass. This already feels like it's driving so much more nicely than on the old controller settings. Thank you internet and people on the internet for recommending those settings. I looked all over the place to compare different people's experiences to see what they all found as the best controller setup. And that's what came up with in the end. Oh, bit wide out of there. Lost up the exit of Ascari. But yeah. Lap deleted by race director. Well, the race director's an idiot, isn't he? What was he thinking? Alright, if we cross the line in the next 36 seconds, we'll get one more lap in. What did he delete my lap for? Do I go off a bit or something? The you know, track you drop on or off is a bit basic. Surely a GT3 car has more settings than that. I want it on like 2 out of 5 or something. I want it on but quite low. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, I went on the grass out of that one, didn't I, last lap? That's why I deleted my lap. Oh, up on two wheels. Yeah, it's much more like it with the controller set up like this. We would have thought such few settings being edited would make such a lot of difference. Of course, it might just be that GT3 is a much nicer class, and if I go back on that 720S, it'll be awful. I'll have to try some road cars out again in a minute. Try not to mess up the parabolica this time. It wasn't great. But yeah, we're a long way off that 136 or whatever it was world record. How is that even possible? Please don't make me 13. Oh, we are in last. Great. Oh, we didn't set a time at all. We well, didn't delete that last lap, surely, unless that one didn't count. It was just come back round. I blame that race director. Hopefully we can make up some places on the grid. Go through the middle here. Oh, somebody clipped the back of my car. Who drove into me? Oh, the McLaren sideways in front of me and I've hit him. Oh, no, he's bumping me. Thank you. Oh, no. Of course I've got some aero damage and McLaren spam in front of me and made me crash into him. Never mind, we're into 8th. Let's hope the aero doesn't affect our performance too much. Somebody bump us from behind or did I just lose it? Is that McLaren again? And then this guy's not accelerating. Why did he break on the way out of the corner? Oh, we've gone wide. Not good entry into that corner. Oh, just held it on the way out of there. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, we're being bumped from behind again. It better not be that same McLaren. Oh 
the Scary, he's still right on us. I thought him hit me again there. Is he actually going to overtake or is he just going to sit behind bumping me on every corner? Whoa! How did he hold that much speed around the outside of me? Remember these AI players are only on 50% difficulty and 50% aggression. It's what? I always end up in a slower car. The only way for it is to outbreak the Bentley into that corner. What? Why do I have to give the position back? I didn't... I accidentally gave two back. I didn't take a shortcut to take him, I just outbraked him and went down the inside. Oh, now we're in 12th. Wow. Come on. Surely we can take this Lambo. Oh, down the inside. Oh, we've bumped into him. And we're on the grass and he's around the outside. No! How did he not put his brakes on going around there? So although the car drives a lot better, it still can't keep up with the AI players. To be fair, that Lamborghini has four-wheel drive, so it should go through the corner slightly better than this, but not, not by that much. Well, we're not last. Not yet. Oh, he's making a move on us. No! One lap. One more lap to gain back. Surely we can gain back one place in our last lap. I mean, maybe I'm just an awful driver, but... Project Cars 1 was never this difficult, so... It's the same thing with that KTM crossbow, you just don't have enough power out of the corners. You can outbreak them. Oh, that was bad, I didn't, that was so unnecessary going up on the curb there. So he's just pulling away. Either I'm just choosing the massively underpowered cars, or whoa, that curb's ruined our lap. So close to that Renault RS. Yeah, I need to change my setup a bit so, so that I don't lose speed on the straights. I think you can tell the race engineer guy what you think your car's doing and he'll recommend some changes. So. We'll try that out, see if he gives a good suggestion, see if it works. Unless it was my aero damage at the beginning that ruined that. If it was this front splitter that got hit on the 
on that McLaren. restart the session and then maybe I can go to race engineer in here tuning setup there we go race engineer I'm slow on the straight reduce the downforce yeah do both as well because it was breaking quite quickly no that's fine I'm slow accelerating <coughs> excuse me yeah so why he's setting that then there's nothing I can do go back to the gearing menu Anyway, <coughs> sorry. Anyway, oh, save. Save over existing setup. Back. Start. We will start the race in the position we qualified before. I think I might have jumped that start a little bit, but the game didn't pick up on it, so we're away. Try not to hit the back of anybody this time. Oh, just tap the back of that R8. And took him on the inside. In third. No, I'm in the wrong gear. Should have been in first out of there. Actually, for Monza, you do want less downforce and more speed on the straights and less downforce from the corners, do you? Because it's quite a high speed track. Brakes, much less harsh. That's much improved. Come on. No! It's pulling away. How do they not break going round there? Hopefully we can keep in third. I wonder how it's affecting my lap times. I think my best is like 147. Oh! Alright, just pushed us out of his way. I think we came out of Ascari slightly faster than them though. Might be able to take him along this straight. No. Apparently we can't break slightly later than him. Or even pretty much at the same time as him. He can still power through the corner faster than us. Well. We're in fourth, and the rest of the pack's quite a way behind. I say quite a way. There's enough of a gap. Oh no! We turned a bit too hard out there. It's a shame, because he came out of the corner quite badly. Still, we're closer to him than the cars behind are to us. We might be able to get our third place back. Oh! Flip that curb! No! On the grass! Not the first time I've done that through that corner. How does he go so fast through there? Well, he went through almost as fast as him. Oh, 
on the brakes very late into Ascari. And quite fast out of Ascari, the car somehow coped with that. Six seconds up on our fastest lap, not bad. Considering we're only six seconds behind the fastest lap on our starting lap. Oh, no! How did I manage to do that into the parabolica? How? It was still quite a good time on the lap, although we are seven seconds behind the leader. What? Is that SLS so much faster than me? Never mind, we got them under braking. Oh, just keeping out of the gravel on the way out of the first corner. Oh no, we're sliding all over the place on the way up there. Come on, surely you can hold the pack off till the end. They go much faster through there than I do. Which means one of them might try to pull a move on me along this straight. hold my line. I hope they don't do anything stupid. Oh, breaking very late into Ascari again. Just about held it. And down the back straight. Where is he? Oh, he's catching up with me. I think. Yeah, it's the SLS again. Down the inside of us into the parabolica. How did he pull that move? No! Well, fifth is a massive improvement on last from the last race. But we're still 12 seconds off pace. 11 seconds off pace. Slightly more successful race. The setup's definitely better. But we're still 11 seconds off pace, and the AIs are only on 50% difficulty and 50% aggression. So, still need some fine tuning on the tuning setup and possibly the controls. Why did you do that on a cooldown lap? And there goes the wing into the sand. Definitely need to turn driver aggression down. They're just mad. Anyway, the tuning setup and the controller needs a little bit more work, but I hope you've enjoyed a slightly more successful video on Project Cars 2. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!